After Trials and Tribulations, I am here with... Mike Parkus. And, introduce yourself, we're just going to get right to it. Alright, alright, Mike Parkus, uh, G3 Designs, we have a photo video company, downtown St. Catharines. And that's where That's we where are we are here. This is G3. Like, can we just talk about this aesthetic? Right. Like, yeah. what's, your, what's your style? Are you G? Yeah, well, we're definitely dot, uh, downtown Niagara Lake, but we do our thing. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> I gave it away. Yeah, we gave it away, no, but we're, All right. just, we're, we're downtown St. Catharines. I love it. We're gritty. So we have some, you know, soda. Yeah. And thank you so much for, you know, providing this whole thing. So you have to do like a cheers, like a right. really, really good cheers. Right. So what do you got? I don't fucking got it. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta give me a good cheers. That's a good question. Well, shit. Um, Rubber side down. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Well, cheers. So, Thanks so much uh, sure. for coming on here. For sure. So I want to know all about G3 Designs. I love the merch that you are repping. Yeah, it is thank you. awesome. Thank Goes you. so well with your, you know, your whole ensemble here. Ensemble. Cool. So tell me about uh, how this all came about. Well, I've been doing this for about 12 years now. Um, it just came by fluke, you know. I just picked up a camera, fell in love with it, and just kind of just pursued it, pursued it, pursued it until we got here. And now it's 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 more than just the one guy with a the camera. There's multiple people, Jay Ash, and you know he does the videos and stuff like that. So there's there's more to just G three than me. So what services does G three Design offer? Like, because I know you guys do a lot of weddings. Yeah. That's like your biggest, would you say? Yeah, weddings are are our biggest, biggest clientele. Uh, but we also do commercial, we also do family portraiture, we do uh, videos, music videos, you name it. If it needs a photo and video, our team can handle it. And I know you guys are amazing because I even, before all of this, yeah. I brought my daughter in here for her champagne yeah. birthday and those were like the best photos I, like better than I could have ever imagined. Yeah, yeah, we were cleaning confetti out of the floor for <laughs> hours i'm so sorry <laughs> but like so worth it it was so worth it it was good fun it was good i fun. love it sure. so you said you came through a fluke yeah. tell me about that yeah i just um yeah i just picked up a camera just tried to space out and enjoy myself but a what bit. made you want to pick up a camera have you always been like interested in it no nah, no i just it was just i built houses before that you know you know so i got into this picked up a camera one day played around with it and so you just like saw a camera sitting there and yeah. you're like, <laughs> oh, and then all of a sudden, like, how did you, you know, learn everything? Like everything's self-taught. I just YouTube videos, whatever, and stuff like that. I heard of that. Yes. I you heard, heard of YouTube? No. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, oh yeah, it's this new thing. This thing called right? YouTube. Yeah, it's YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's very popular. No, very popular. I heard that yeah. people, um, so I had another guest on Trials and Tribulations, and we had a really big conversation. And he's a photographer too from South Africa, cool. and he does all of like Miss Universe and like nice. pageantry yeah. uh, type of photography yeah. and like Vogue and all that stuff. Very cool. And what he said is that he did the same thing as you. It's like one day I just picked up a camera, and then I just went into YouTube, yeah. and he was like. And I learned, I like taught information myself. Information was there, yeah. It just, and then, you know what, you just get good by shooting, going out and having fun. Uh, even, you know, 12 years later, I still go out for fun shoots and have a good time just because it keeps the skills sharp, it keeps everything sharp, you know, and it's, it's, it's a hell of a good time, right? And like, we just had our photo yeah. shoot. Yeah, you did photos uh, for two weeks ago. Yeah, and yeah. you're really good at even knowing like women's insecurities. And I was actually pleasantly surprised because when you were watching me, you're like, oh, do this, do this. And I was like, oh, he knows exactly what women don't, like you knew exactly how to pose us. And I saw some of the previews and they were like stunning. Well, after hundreds and hundreds <laughs> of brides that I've photographed and stuff like that, you just learn what they want. Like, everybody wants to be shown in their best light. Yeah. So. That's why we got all the lights for you. Like we got to show your golden brown skin. That's right. <laughs> it's all the motorcycle. That's that motorcycle <laughs> saying, right? Yeah, absolutely. So yes. what would you say is the top 10 things that brides complain about the most in terms oh. of photography for their big day? Complain what are things about? you learned? What have, what have they complained about? No, I wouldn't say there's so much complaint. You just know that 
everybody wants to look shiny and pretty and, and cute and they want to just fall in love and have those pictures of them falling in love and just enjoying the thing. There's not a, we don't get a lot of complaints. Well, <laughs> yeah. no, so but like, know, you know, just try to, try to find out what they love, what they love about themselves. Right. So maybe I'll check out their Instagram before, you know, oh, you got to do right? a little detective work to see well, what kind look, of person they are. Well, maybe you like this angle, you maybe like that angle, whatever you like the best and just follow that until you get it That's a really and if there is idea. a photo that isn't good delete it fast burn the card <laughs> nobody ever sees it that's yeah. it that's well just yeah that's, that one's gone, that one's gone. Yeah. interesting <laughs> so when you're working with brides then do you have like specific go-to shots <clears throat> that you create like that are like g3 styled like <clears throat> if somebody saw that they'd be like that's a g3 photo I think that's one been one of my advantages okay. in this business. While you know, there's there's such a variety of photographers out there. Uh, a lot of my stuff has been uh, off camera flash, and I'm, that's kind of my my passion for photography. I like not only taking just the photo, but adding lights and adding different colors and, and textures and stuff like that. That makes it kind of punchy, and I, I've always liked that punchy color. You know, rich in color. It's deep. You know, it's a little bit dark, a little bit badass. It's got to be cool, right? So I think one of the G3, like, I'm going to call them signature poses, you do something with champagne, right? Yep. So tell us about that one. So champagne shot, we do this at every wedding just because it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> right? So we get the bride and groom to come outside. We set up a few different lights, shake up that bottle, and just start spraying champagne like the end of a... a a race you know yeah. they just get out there and they spray the champagne and they have fun with it they laugh about it a few cool pictures come out of it but at the end of the day we want to create an experience that's fun so if you're hiring us for your wedding or your event stuff we're gonna come out we're gonna have a good time we're gonna you're gonna leave going wow that was fun that was cool you yeah it's different than just you know okay guys take my picture no i want to have fun with it we want to go crazy we want to feel like family by the time we're done I love that. And it, it's cool. You build some really cool relationships, cool friendships with that, and it's it's cool. It's cool. All right, so I'm going to yeah. put you in the hot seat. Are you ready? All right. What was your favorite wedding or wedding experience of a wedding that you shot? <laughs> if, if Jay Ash was here, he'd know where I'm going with this. Right? <laughs> right? right? I don't know. It, I, we see a lot of shit. We see, we see some things. But um, no, I was in Muskoka, uh, shooting a wedding. Uh, uncle had too much to drink, right? He goes falling off the bridge into the pond, and he comes out looking like swamp thing with all the algae dripping Please from him and stuff. Please tell me you got a photo of we it. We did get photos of it. Yeah, no, we had some fun with it. But <clears throat> man, you see some things at weddings, usually alcohol inspired. But, but those are the best. Those are the best. <laughs> You're and, never gonna get those moments. And as a photographer. We're not there to help. We're, <laughs> we're there to, to document this. So, so you're just like, if I'm your sorry. dance moves are that good, trust they're gonna be on camera. <laughs> they're gonna be on video. So we better see your your best uh, cha cha slide. I love it. So we had like you had all these good memories. You guys were doing so well. COVID hit. Of course, we're gonna bring it up because that's what everybody's talking about. Obviously, that had a huge impact on you. How has it been during COVID and what are your plans for the future now that we're able well, to, you know, be this close now? Well, <coughs> fuck COVID. I mean, I mean <laughs> COVID sucks. It does. COVID sucks. Zero, fun ruiner, mm -hmm. extraordinary. Yeah. It sucks. It's, it's no fun. I miss the brides. I miss the party. I miss the going out and shooting and doing what we want. Just meeting people, connecting. Uh, it was just, I miss dancing. I miss watching people dance. <laughs> Right? Like I said, alcohol inspired. We get some dance moves. But no, I just miss it all. Like I miss going out and the, the live events, the music halls and stuff like that. I want to go out and listen to my friend's band. I want to hear some live music. I want to hear some live drums and guitar. Yeah. And, and photograph it and have fun with it. But I miss, I miss that a lot, for sure. So how did COVID impact G3 Designs? Oh, well, like everything's, everything's kind of on halt, right? Yes, we're doing this small stuff in between and we're sharpening our skills. We've upgraded all our systems and it's, it's a lot of the behind the scenes things happen during COVID. We haven't taken a break. We haven't stopped. 
we're, you know, there's things to do, even though COVID's been here. So again, all the computer systems upgrade, equipment's upgraded, plans and people and contract, everything's just upgraded. But going forward, you know, we can come out of the gates hauling ass, you know, and we're ready for it. But man, it's, it's been a uneventful <laughs> two years. Yeah, it's been like, you know, sure, you got to get all the boring shit done, but <laughs> realistically, we want to go, we want to party, we want to go with the people. We miss the people. It's the people. Yeah, yeah. So, give us a sneak peek. Is there any fun, yeah. exciting things that are coming up that you have planned? Are you expanding? Do you have any, like, projects, ideas? Like, what does the future of G3 Designs look like? Future of G3? Well, you know, like, COVID did you know, put the brakes on us for a minute, right? Mm -hmm. So we had a big plan, 2020. Again, now we're just waiting for things to keep going. But yeah, no, there has, there has been ideas of expansion, different cities, different plans, different ideas. So we don't know quite yet where this is going to take us. But again, the opening of our economy and stuff like that is going to be a, a deciding factor of what's going to happen next. And yeah. do you think we're really going to be opening, or do you think this is like another summer like last year where it's like... Good Lord. We better be opening up. <laughs> or we better be opening up. We'll just leave it at that, man. I can't take no one. I don't <laughs> think anybody can. We're just going to manifest it. Like, it's just not even a possibility that it's going to... Just open your doors. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Just, if... G3 Designs is coming in. Just open your we're doors. We're ready. We're here. You want to come take pictures? <laughs> So you also have a hobby, bikes. Yeah. Talk about that. Um. Yeah, a little bit of a motorcycle enthusiast. I'm, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. I dabble. Yeah, just, a d a just dibble a little, dabble. Just a little fun, yeah. You know, a little stress I, reliever for COVID. Bike. Yeah. I enjoy riding. Um. <clears throat> you know. It's it's just a just a little passion. It's a little bit somewhere I get away, be quiet, and enjoy my bike, and no phones, no nothing, just just the wind. It's really nice. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, it's fun. I think one of my favorite things to do is act like, I remember that was the first thing like we talked about before, because yeah. oddly enough, we met before Trials and Tribulations, and lately, I've been just talking to people who I actually haven't met in person, which yeah. is kind of like a really weird thing okay. that I thought about. I was like, now that I'm like putting it on YouTube, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to actually have to like meet these people. But it's funny because I've been talking to these people for years. Yeah. And then it like all hit me. I was like, oh. I've actually never physically met any of the people who I talk to on a regular basis. Like, that's weird. And here you are. Well, you're old school. You're old news, buddy. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. thanks so much for coming on Travel. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I think our just episodes check. is done. Mike Farkas, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ken. No. <laughs> and we're here. We're back again with... Mike Farkas, G3 Designs Photo and Video. Man, that was G. <laughs> okay, so I need to know what makes Mike Farkas Mike Farkas. I want to know everything. Because you said that, like picking up the camera was just like a fluke, right? Yeah. Like it just yeah. came out of nowhere. I want to know your backstory a bit. Tell me everything, yeah. all the details. From the camera? Okay. From the camera. From the camera. No, I just picked it up. I started shooting bands and cool shit like that, and we just car shows doing whatever so were you like taking pictures back in like port Luzi days uh, no actually i i lived in well at the time oh. uh, well i've just been everywhere you know like so music was a huge thing for me right so a lot of local bands i would get out and shoot them and just had fun with the camera kind of just kind of having a good time with it ps's ice machine like you had it you had to plug in an ice machine yeah but doesn't every cool Photo video studio have an ice machine? Yeah, to have our sodas. Yeah, that's strange. Right? Cheers. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> okay, so um, you took started with bands. Yeah. Grab your you found a camera, started with bands, <laughs> and then you progressed. What made you want to actually open your like G three? Because that had to been like. So it was kind of just like an evolution process. It just happened, right? I started going out and then, you know, you shoot some friends and they're like, oh, the picture's kind of cool. 
Okay. And well, I, you actually know what you're doing. And, Thanks, and, YouTube. And I just kept learning and learning. Yeah, YouTube. And I just kept learning it and just kept taking more pictures. It became addicting. You know, I just calling every friend I knew, calling everybody I knew, and just doing photos and having fun with it, going out and taking pictures. And then just, you know, the money slowly started coming with it. And it and just grew, it just snowballed from there. And then, you know, I shot my first wedding and now I've shot, I don't know, maybe. 800 weddings so like you must have been like super anxious for your first wedding yeah I was crazy nervous okay tell me yeah. about it don't mess this up <laughs> was that <laughs> really, like were you sweating you the got, whole time yeah you, you got one chance at it don't mess it up so was it a big wedding like tell me about this wedding it was a it was a smaller wedding it was you know it was, uh, 60 75 people you know it was, just, it was okay it was, it was fair but it wasn't you know it wasn't the crazy 300 people wedding right but yeah, I was just nervous. Like you miss that first kiss, you miss those moments, you miss anything. It's gone forever. It's over, you know. So I was super nervous. Now, now I I know the process well. So you know when the first kiss is coming. You know when some th certain things are coming. So you kind of prep and be ready for it. And man, it's you're at a a constant place of joy. Like it's always a good time. It's always a party. It's always fun. It's not a bad job. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's not a bad job at all. So did you? think that you might like had to have a backup like shooter when you were doing your first wedding like just in case because you didn't always have like a like was it just you or did you always kind of have like a staff behind you no it's a, it was it was started as just me and you know but I, I learned more before I went into weddings I didn't get into the wedding until second or third year I, I gained my confidence and I gained you know some experience with the camera with just shooting frames or bands or whatever and it just once I became confident in my tools, um, yeah, it's been good. But then as things grow, you know, there's always somebody with me. <clears throat> it's someone to help. It's someone to, you know, be a second set of eyes. And, you know, it's nice having another guy on set, you know. Did you have, like, a photographer that you, like, look to that you're like, oh, like, these are, this is a style I like. The way he does mm -hmm. it is exactly the way I want to do it. Yeah. You was... said YouTube, right? YouTube and just, you know, searching different uh, photography places. I know there's a guy, uh, Mike something from California, uh, another guy from Korea. And I've always been drawn to like dark lighting, some edgy stuff and, you know, sexy and sultry and, and the cool edgy stuff. So I tried to bring that and what I'd learned from bands and them being edgy and fun and wild and bring that over to the wedding side where it could yeah. be fun, it could be cool, it could be sexy a little bit, but still keep the like romantic stuff alive and all that stuff. And I think that's like so important because when you're looking for photographers to like capture your special day, you can really tell what G3 like design styles yeah. are like off the bat. You know, yeah, and that's that, that's that dark and edgy, right? That's that. Yeah. That little bit of fire and flame, right? I love it. So, for sure. so when you're talking about the future with G3, you said like you have potential for expansion. Yeah. And what would you do you have anything that you would tell people who want to be photographers who are interested in maybe starting their own business things that you learned along the way that you didn't know before any tips tricks you, you ever heard that expression right <laughs> okay <laughs> here it comes <laughs> that's it my father would appreciate this just because he's mr metaphor king right but you know you ever heard that that saying like there's always somebody there to just work harder and stay longer and, and, and out to get your job, right? Mm -hmm. I'm that guy. <laughs> oh. Right? Watch out. Yeah, 90 hours a week is, is a regular for us. We are here all the time. We don't stop, we don't break, we don't think, because that's when you, when you slip, you slide, right? Yeah. So we just stay on it all the time, and now not only do I do it, you know, I have other people that are like-mindedness that are gunning for the same goal. Right, the bigger picture, you know that wolf brand. That's what we're after. Well, hundred percent. We want it. Yeah. And if you think about it, like I know when I, for my job, I'm like, okay, this is my quote, and then I know that they, that person has three or four other quotes that they're getting. So what makes you stand out? Right. What makes you unique? What makes them want you? We're hustlers. <laughs> we're yeah. G. We're G. You know, and that's you know, it's a lovers or haters kind of thing because. You know, a, a, art is subjective. What you may like may be different than somebody else likes. So 
What makes us different is that we have a fun style, a fun attitude. We come and we try to bring the party to the party, right? Mm -hmm. We want to be having fun with it, and our photos represent that too, right? Where you can see people just letting loose, having a good time, because they're like, oh, it's just, it's just Mike at the thing. He's, he's good, he's good, come on in. And people are having fun, and they, yeah. and we try to, the customer experience is everything for us. The photos you should know inside and out. If you're gonna call yourself a professional photographer, you better be a professional photographer. That's our job. It's how they feel afterwards. Like, you know, you've shot with us. Well, and I was just going right? to say that because as soon as I came, you're like, what's going on? Let's just have fun. And you and were just, we not have fun? yeah, we had yeah, so much see? fun and it was casual and there was no pressure. And then it exactly. just makes the models or the customers, clients, whatever, yeah. make them feel at home. Yeah. And you left feeling good about it. Oh, that's, I like looked at, and I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know my body could do that. Okay. <laughs> So, I loved it, and and that's that's what we're all about. We just want we want to make people feel happy. We want to we want to party with y'all. Yeah, and yeah. my favorite one of it. I'm just gonna compliment you guys all the time. But another <laughs> another thing that I love about G3 is that you have such a strong community that stands behind you. Well, you can't complain, you know. But that's a really important people thing. People can't see them, but there's some people in the back there, <laughs> right? That have been friends for years. Yeah. Because of the arts and music and stuff, there's a, there's an artistry and, and, and kind of like there's a bond, you know. You just you just make friends over the years, right? And same yeah. with our social media, you, we gained it by out there talking to people and getting to know people at the shows, at the venues, at the weddings, at the parties, at the you name it. We're there. Right? I know, and like that's like when I started the show, they were like, "What do you want to see happen?" I, I just want to connect. I want to know my community. I want to know others' communities. Yeah. I want to know why this, Perfect. why that. Perfect. I love networking. Love it. And, and, and now we're friends. Right? Are we friends? <laughs> Please be my friend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody, somebody please be my friend. That's our live studio <laughs> audience. That's our live. Yeah, okay, so. Don't worry about that, man. I think that's like the perfect introduction. Rough Hello? Friends. Somebody please so be my friend. friend. Welcome to Trials and Tribulations. No. Oh my god. Now you gotta hold yourself up there. Oh, I'm up. You gotta be a queen? Be a queen. I'm a freaking queen. <laughs> I, I didn't... Agree. Oh, see, I can swear it because it's my show. You can pretty much do whatever the hell you feel like. It. I'm a queen. Like that? That was G. And I probably got beeped out right there. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> I hear I, I would love that. Uh, I feel that's good. Yeah, just, just shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I'm a queen. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I have to wrap this up. You finished your drink. I'm being slow. I know you have a photo shoot today. Tell me about your photo shoot today. Uh, just another. Um... <laughs> just another. <laughs> just okay. another one, right? Like it's just, just another friend coming in for photos, you know? Like we're just practicing. We're enhancing our skills and just you know I got an idea in my head it needs to get out <laughs> so I want to try a few few different techniques and stuff like I said COVID's got us bored yeah Let's have a little fun with it but I think that's something else that's like really cool about COVID is that even though there's a lot of negative things what I'm trying to do is like think about the positive and look at all the sure. things that you were able to accomplish while you just were able to I don't want to say rest because we all know that you don't rest but Rest? Yeah. No, well, there's, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta take the silver lining on anything, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah, sure, that sucks. What, what'd you learn? What'd you what do did you do? Meantime? How did you grow? You know, I've done my own things in the, you know, just personal things, right? Like, yeah. So it's like, you know, go build a motorcycle or some shit. Yeah, you know? like, that's crazy. Yeah. And I it's, saw it. It looks great. Yeah, it's getting there. Piece I'm by excited. Piece. It's going together, so. But, you know, learn new skills, do more things. Like, you know, you can sit around and watch TV all day, or you could actually do some shit. And in two years, you're going to be able to look at, back at this moment and be like, look at what I created. Oh, 100%. Right? We're all going to look back and say something about COVID. Yeah. What'd you do? Well, I hung out with you. Fuck yeah, yes. we did. Yeah. So, because my show is Trials and Tribulations, I want to know, as we close, what is your tribulation and trial of your life? Every goddamn day. <laughs> Every day is something, right? 
But there must be something, something that like sticks out where you're like, that was the highest point in my life. Oh, man, that's that's a hard one to say. Like it's 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 uh, or something that maybe you learned and you're like, because of that moment, that's like an impactful moment, both high and low. I told you this is hot seat time. Hot seat time. Okay, no, there's no, there's. There's been some lows. There's been some lows, uh, you know, loss of friends and stuff like that in the past. And there was, there's been some real, real lows. Um, COVID has been a tough one too. But you know what? We've always been those, those types where it's like ride the wave, you know? Yeah, there's times where, you know, again, friends have passed or stuff like that. It was pretty dark times. But there's also the upsweep from that, you know? You pick yourself up, you go, you move on. And then there's some really good times you know when you're meeting Cypress Hill or we met T.I. and you know you're sitting around talking with T.I. I'm like oh, okay that's kind of cool you know like that must have been such a humbling and blessed moment where you're like man like I would have never thought 12 years ago no I was building houses yeah and here I am like sitting with Cypress Hill you yeah know, it was it was just cool experience it was meeting meeting so many people whether it's you know musicians or weddings just man you meet so many crazy people you know? yeah yeah so it, it, there's there's highs and lows and ride that wave man ride and the wave. any <laughs> last words that you would give to our viewers who <laughs> think like anything that you would want to share with anybody that might want to be the next mike farkas or you know attempt to be who look up to you and be like, man. <laughs> okay, a leave is great for back pain when you're <laughs> sitting in front of the computer. And like, in this commercial break, yeah. brought to you by a leave. Hey, gonna, if you wanna if you wanna sponsor me, like if you're gonna be editing <laughs> for ages on end and dealing with this business. Don't but, show your age. Can we just stop right now? <laughs> well, you know, right after this, they're gonna drop me back off at the seniors' home and that's it. <laughs> okay. The bus is waiting. Okay. <laughs> Shit. No, it's it's you know hustle. So take a leave. Sorry. Hustle yeah. hard, hustle hard, man. If you don't hustle hard, there's someone out there to come get it. And those wolves are hungry. That's what I did. Yeah. Mike Farkas, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kay. I appreciate it. <laughs>